In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own effects presets here in BandLab and share them with other users. Let's go. BandLab is a free music recording platform that's compatible with Mac, PC, Android, and iOS. And it also has some amazing effects that you can add to your tracks. But what if you want to tweak your effects? And even cooler, what if you then want to send those effects to other users to use in their projects? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We're going to start by showing this on the desktop version, but I'm also going to show you how to do it on mobile. So jump to the timestamp link down in the description if you want to jump straight to the mobile version. We've opened up a project here in the Mix Editor. Now, if BandLab's new to you, check out my video tutorials in the description so that you can get started. We're going to click on the Effects tab at the bottom here for this track, and you can see here that we've got a preset here called Vocal PJ. So this is a preset that I've actually created myself, and what you can do is take one of the generic presets that BandLab provides, and they've got a heap of them in there, and you can actually customize those. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. To select a new preset, we simply tap right here in the middle of this icon. Now, these are my custom presets under the My Presets tab. If we go back to Vocals here, we can scroll down and find a vocal preset to start with. Let's go with this Tight Vocals preset, clicking on that one. So you can see here we've got a de we've got the Tech Lab BA2A here, a compressor, there and we've also got a studio reverb so these have all been added in now we can adjust these so you can play around with these and again we've got a complete video about effects and how to adjust these and use these down in the description so once you're happy with that what you can do is you can save this in here so you can see it says tight vocals edited what I can do is hit this save button and we can save this preset so we can change the name here to something like PJ tight vocals and uh, that Pete Johns, there you go, and then hit the save button. And that's gonna save that one in, and that's now gonna be available there in my presets under my presets here to use just like the other presets I've already got saved. Let's now share this preset. We first need to save it in just to make sure all the changes are saved in there, and then hit on this button here, which is the share button here in BandLab. The options we have is that we can share it directly on BandLab, a bunch of different platforms here, or you can just copy the link. I like to copy the link, because as soon as you click on that, that one is going to put the link to this in your clipboard and then you can email it, you can add it to your website, you can send it via social media apps to any other BandLab user and when they click on that, it's going to open that up. Let's show you how this works. I've opened a brand new tab here. We're going to paste in that link and hit enter and it's going to come here into BandLab and check that out. Pete Johns, tight vocals. We can open this in the mix editor. So preset by Pete Johns there and we click on this one here and it's going to open up a brand new project in the mix editor and it's going to add that one in here, which is pretty darn cool. And as the other user, you can then tweak this to your heart's content. So you can change these up. You can add in new effects to make it your own sound. And then you can resave it in here as the original name, or you can actually create a new custom preset for yourself in your own BandLab profile. The other share option here to share onto BandLab will actually share it onto your band lab feed. So I can come in here and just say, just created a new preset and I can hit the post button and this is going to post it to my public feed. So now anyone who's following me on BandLab can see and can download and use this preset. The mobile version of BandLab is similar, but a little bit different. To use it here, we need to tap on a track and tap on the track header there to jump here into the view and then hit the FX button down below. On the mobile app, we can slide through and select any of the presets that we like here to customize or use one of the custom presets we've already created. And if you're brand new to the BandLab mobile app, there's a complete getting started tutorial linked below. This time to share, we need to hit on the three dots here and hit the share button. Now, depending whether you're on Android or iOS, you'll get a slightly different view. But here on iOS, this is what we're going to see. And the easiest way to go again is simply to hit the copy button. That's now copied to the clipboard here on my iPad it works exactly the same way on the iPhone as you can see by this demonstration here and now we can paste that anywhere we like and the cool thing here is if someone's emailed us or sent us a message with a preset as soon as we tap on it it's going to open up BandLab and it's going to allow us to open it directly in the mix editor and if you've already got a project open it'll even add it into that project as well so it's super flexible and a great and easy way to share those effects presets here in BandLab.